Utah. Oh. Primed, but not started. Must be the Great Salt Lake. Which means it's... See, these... Those are things that behaved like those plumes that showed up on the weather. But they don't look like thunderstorms. There's a black line. Or the lack of visibility, a cloaking device. And that. I'm not sure where it came from. Stalling again. The computer was a little bit busy. I surely do hope that all the people that debunked with arrogant knowledge <laughs> because they knew so much and we don't, which is probably true. I hope they can come in and explain these anomalies because I'm calling this next rad version 2 next rad 2 because I think it's been enhanced. Look at this persistent a persistent something. A black line, another black line. In fact all kinds of spokes in there. Almost hard to see where they were not. Boy, this thing's persisted. Oh, why the heck would that stay there? Could it possibly have anything to do with the the conductivity of that salt lake. Could that salt lake be used as a great big huge electrode? That I consider an interesting idea. And you know, a little thing. Even turned orange. And Utah. I don't know what the topography is, but I think of that as a a dry desert. Half the trees are petrified. But if something's being squeezed up a mountain, if prevailing winds are being squeezed up the mountain, that could push them into a rain. This thing is absolutely flat out fascinating. <laughs> Not only that, it took the opportunity to make that lake glow. Huh. Utah is interesting. And I'll bet you this corner here was a very, very hot political battle because a good compromise would have been to do that. 